All right, so now we will go over detail about uh, uh, storage account and how to store the, we will go over two scenarios. First, uh, create a storage account and then attach that particular storage account with virtual machine. And then the second one is, we will also install the Azure um, Explorer and start storing the data on Azure Explorer, All right? So let's just uh, click over here. Let's just uh, start creating a new storage account. So just click on dashboard, click on new, Just type go to the storage option. Okay. There are different types of storage like storage account, data lake store for big data analytics. So for now, we will just go ahead and create a blob storage or a standard account. I mean, just name the storage as Azure e learning. Okay. It is available. Select the deployment model as resource manager. Account type as uh, general purpose for now. Okay. Now just subscription is free trial. Resource group, just select the existing resource group right uh, just select the e-learning location is gonna be east and just click on create so your storage account got created now let's just wait until this is complete Okay, it is completed now. Now what we will do is we are going to create a virtual machine and attach this particular storage account with virtual machine. Okay, so just click on new, select the compute, select the Windows Server 2012, Select the same resource manager and click create. And then just type the basic uh, configuration setting. Just mention the name as e-learning server. The disk type is going to be HTT. The username is going to be e-learning admin. You can just put the password a little bit complex, right? Uh, the subscription will be a free trial. Resource group, you can just use the existing group that's already available. Location is East US and just click OK. Select the size for this VM as A1 and click select. Here is the most important portion. You want to attach a proper uh, storage account with this, right? So just select this storage account and you need to pick up Azure e-learning. That's the new storage account that we just created right now. So select that and it will also select all the rest of the things for you. Keep the virtual network as it is, the subnet as it is, public IP address as it is, and then make sure the RDP is opened over here, right? So select that network security group and verify if the RDP is available. Yes, that is enabled. So we are good. We can just move in. 
no extension availability set as none monitoring as enable guest performance and diagnostic storage account also change it to azure learning click ok so now we are creating a vm and attaching the storage to a new storage account the one that we created so just click ok and let's create this particular vm We are still waiting for this VM to be completed. The deployment is in progress and then we can see the storage account details. All right, it's still going on. So we just have to wait until this is complete. So just go ahead and clean up your dashboard in the meantime. almost getting ready let's just verify all the status so just click over here and then you should see the detail about the storage account name there you go as you can see it you are using the latest storage account and your uh, diagnostic uh, is also on the same account so it is getting created so let's just wait go back to the storage account so just search for that particular storage account so in the search bar, just type that storage account, click over here, click on the Azure Learning, and you should see all the activity. This is going to be the overview right now. It shows a blog, file, table, and the queue. 
and we will learn how to store the data over there going forward. This is all the activity log, right? Uh, so we will just see like how to do all these activities and everything here. This is a write storage account, right? Uh, and let's just make sure You do have an option to set up the access control or IAM over here. Okay. Remember, access key is the most important thing. We will learn how to connect the Azure Explorer with this particular key. Okay. So, in the next lecture, that's what we are going to go. Uh, right now, you can just like see all the details about all these uh, different, different tabs. And then we will learn how to attach our uh, how to store the text file or, or images and stuff like that onto the azure explorer okay so just go to the dashboard and just click over here it seems like the deployment is completed with this version okay so what does that tell you once the deployment is completed right as you can see it over here, if you go to the overview and you should see the storage account details, right? Um, for this particular VM, you do have an option to attach any additional disk if you want to do that. Okay. Just go to the properties and you should see all the details as well, right? This is all about your properties. So what we did, we created a virtual machine and we attached a storage account with this particular virtual machine. Now let's go ahead and download Azure Explorer, okay? So here is the URL. Let me just share that URL with you guys. You can also type the same thing in Google and just go to the go and download the Azure Explorer. So just click on this. There you go. Microsoft Azure Explorer. You just click download over here. So let's go ahead and download this one right now. So click on free storage and just save this file and we will just run the setup, right? Microsoft Azure storage. We will just run the, there are multiple ways to store a data onto your uh, uh, storage account. One of the way is using the RDP or like uh, Second way is you can use the REST services uh, that is available in C Sharp, that is available in .NET, that is available in Java. And this is one more additional way and we will learn how to use the Storage Explorer. We will establish a connection and start storing the data onto this particular VM, onto this particular storage account. So let's just wait until the download is complete. Let's go ahead and run this one. So just click on run. So just go over here, just say I accept the agreement. Click install. Select the installation folder, click next. Click next. And then it will install it in your computer.
all right so the installation is going on right now we just have to wait until this is complete and then we'll go to the next task So just click on next and go ahead and open the Azure storage. Okay. So it is loading right now. Let's go ahead and add the Azure account. Click on sign in. Just reopen it. There is something that went wrong. Let's just make sure. Go to the Azure Storage Explorer. All right. Now just right click over here and click on Connect to Azure Storage. Okay. You can use the storage account name and the key over here. So just click on Next you will enter the storage account name that we created right so just go over here and uh, go to this this is the storage account name that we created azure learning okay so i'm going to go here and go to the azure explorer enter this in the account key section you need to go to uh, the access key Okay, and just copy this particular key. All right, and click next. Click connect. There you go. So, as you can see it right now, you have a blob container, you have a file share, you have a queue, and you have a table. Okay, let's say if I want to create a table, so just click on create table. Okay, that's the sample table that you created onto your storage account. Okay, you can do a lot of other things with this. It's a simple, you can do partition, you can do store all the data over here. Now let's just go to the queue. You do have an option to create a queue directly. Let's say e-learning queue. Okay. Just go in here. You can add a messages manually here uh, that uh, let me just put the sample message here. This has the same functionality as the IBM MQ, so you can just uh, put the sample MQ message. Okay, uh, let me just show you that right now. So, start date. Analytics ID. Okay. So you are just inserting the XML message over here. You can just say expired in seven days and just click OK. Right now you are doing all the strings through the Azure Explorer. 
but you can do everything using your c sharp or dot net code you just have to connect it to this particular storage account and start doing it this way you can do have an option to dequeue the message okay that means this message will go away you can add the message using this as well all right so now let's uh, go ahead and add a couple of files onto this file share right so just create a file share name of file shares as e-learning line okay open this file share and you can start uploading your files or folders from this right so let's just go ahead and files over here so if i go to a desktop there are a lot of files that are available i'm just going to store all these files just click there and just say a test directory click upload okay so all your data is going to be stored into this particular folder okay into the file storage there you go so now it is in cloud all your data is not locally stored all the data went to the cloud at the same time you are just uh, your data is also backed up i'll also show you an option how to enable the app replication rec across the regions okay now this is our block container so let's just go ahead and create a block container just first of all let's just make sure you guys are okay with this you can create a new uh, directory here as well right if you want to create a new directory azure file directory click ok so these are all the different different directories that you can do it inside a file share inside a queue you can create a queue and start dumping all the messages here you, with the expiration date you can add the message you can view the message you can clear the queue it's the same functionality as your active MQ. they have combined it all together okay now let's just also talk about the blob container let's just create a new blob container just for the images okay or for videos let's just do it for videos okay so let's just do it for videos now that's fine if it does not just click upload you can just upload the files okay i'm just going to upload a sample video that I have it available. So just click open and click upload. So now for your video will start uploading onto this particular place. Okay. Let us also load a couple of other things uh, so that we can see, uh, we can monitor all these things through the monitoring service, right? So let's just also append this. Click upload. So right now two videos are getting uploaded onto this folder. Let's wait and then we will monitor actual uh, through the monitoring service. Okay. All right, let's just wait until this is ready. It is still uploading it, right? So we'll just wait. Okay. 